Hey legends, welcome back to another episode of Which Way with Jen and Jay. If you are new here, um, this is part two of the Scrambler bike build that we're building to take on the road with us for our next lap. Um, we'll be finished the thing by the end of this video, so we hope you enjoy the process and we might see you on the road. You. in this pan pretty happy with how it's looking it's nice and flush to all the edges put two pins coming through that are going to be sitting underneath the cushioning i'm going to run some wing nuts there so that i can get the pan on and off without having any tools not too sure if we're going to use this rear mud guard or not but i'm going to chop her down and see um see if we can make something out of it still uh, i've just drilled two holes in this cross brace here um, and they'll be bolted from the bottom so that there's nothing for the tire to hit so i'm about to tack these nuts on here then i'm thinking on the back here there's already a hole under here that lines up with the back of this hoop so i'm probably going to nut it in the bottom of this hoop which will hold the back nice and sturdy <laughs> I've just wrapped the, uh, the engine in a bit of um, plastic sheeting and I'm cleaning up the frame. As you can see, a bit of surface rust everywhere. So I'm gonna give it a grind down, get it nice and smooth and then chuck some paint on it. some parts that we painted up yesterday so i've got the stand um, i welded a piece of flat on the bottom of that because it was um rusted through so i cut the rust out and welded that on and the little bolt-ons like the gear shifter and the rear brake here i went with the matte black um, same as the sprocket and the uh the brake drums so i've done the first coat on the frame looking pretty good pretty happy with it Gonna do another coat still. So I just got the seat pan back from the powder coaters. It's looking pretty good, pretty happy with how it's turned out. So we are gonna take it now, take the foam over to Ella Speed um, and let them do their stuff. <music> currently at the tyre shop getting our new tyres fitted to the SR rims. It's hard to get tyres the right size in stock um, that sort of matched each other and we'll show you in a second what they look like. So we're back with the bike, there's the rear, there's the front. As you can tell they're different pattern, different uh, tread on them but pretty similar, we're not too worried about that. No, nah, you're not really going to be able to tell. Okay so we just took the front forks out, we're going to a little makeshift holder here a bit dodgy but it's um it's nice and sturdy sturdy enough so now we're painting the top half of the engine with this high temp paint tank is all prepped and ready for paint um, pretty happy with how it is as you saw it had a, a big dent on this side here I think it should come up okay 
Now we're going to take that up the coast um, to my mate's panel shop, Ace's Garage, um, and he's going to paint her up for us. Um, other than that, we're starting to put everything back together. So slowly starting to put some, some of the bolt-ons back on. Um, and yeah, the, we just got the call saying that the seat pan and the seat's all done. So I'll get that in the next couple of days and just start putting the pieces of the puzzle back together. Here's the seat on, rear wheels back on. Pretty, pretty damn happy with how it's looking. Really, really stoked with what LSB did to the seat. Um, just such a professional job at a really good price. So what they've done is they've um, got the flat here and then leveled that up a little bit so that when Jen's sitting on it, she's not always just sliding into me. So I've just run these wires up here as a bit of a test fit with some cable ties. We drilled a hole in the back of the battery tin here so we could run the rear um, wires through. That's all we really need to run in the battery tray. And we need to get a new earth wire, a longer one, and gonna make up a little bracket here for this so that this still gets a bit of air because this thing's air cooled so we need it to sit outside the battery tray. <laughs> the tab there that we bent down and with this bracket we just put some holes in it and welded a little tab on so as you just saw it just literally sits up in there and we put the bolt through it all right Jen so what have you done this is what I've done so you've wrapped the foot ends pegs. of the foot rear foot pegs and obviously we saw, showed you that one before the fuel cap that'll match in with the seat because it's some leftover vinyl from the seat carry that little bit of color through what do you reckon so this is a little bracket we made it's the original exhaust clamp this is going to go over here once it's all tightened that's how it's going to go Jen and i just put the first fork back together first time doing it for us so um we're actually going to film the whole second fork, um, so we can show you how we did it. Nice and tight, it's not leaking, so we're pretty stoked with that. Um, we'll show you the second one. Last thing is the cap, and these are ready to go back on. Pretty stoked with that. That's the front forks, new fork seals, new oil, ready to go back on. So close, have a go at it. So we've just chucked these, um, I don't know what they call them, but they like to keep the dust out of your, out of your shock, because we're going to be taking this thing off road, obviously. But yeah, we think they look pretty good as well. We're going to chuck these back. Um, on the bike and then we can chuck the front wheel onto the front brakes put the handlebars on and then wire up the front end we are so close <laughs> so today we are putting the forks back on we're about to do that we're going to do some dodgy little mechanism to hold the front of the bike up
Jen's just pulled the carby apart after giving it a bit of a clean. But we've just found that the diaphragm actually has a couple of holes in it. So we're gonna have to source one of them. So we're making up some little brackets for the front indicators. We've decided to add them onto this little bracket here that we made for the Speedo. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to pull that off, sand it down and weld some more tabs onto it, but they're gonna sit there, they'll be super visible, and then our wires can easily run down the back into our loom. So we just welded on the little brackets here, um, on the mount, and um, I think it looks like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. You just reckon. <laughs> well, we're gonna take these off, paint it all black, and then mount it back on there. And then the speedo goes there. Hopefully it looks good, not too Sid-like. So these are the little mirror mounts that I was making the other day. So I just made them out of like these little bolts that I found that had a lip on them. So I've cut down this top side so that it'll slide into the mirror. So then that'll just screw into there. And then our little mirrors will just sit on there out of the way and we can adjust them in and outwards like that. Pretty stoked with how they're gonna look, nice and snug. We also got a bit of black paint on this bracket that we made. So I've got the old mud guard here. Um, I'm gonna chop that down a bit more. I'm actually gonna cut this section off it and make my own little brackets that come down. <coughs> Bolt on here and she's gonna sit just there. <laughs> this thing dirt cheap i'm using some old tent pegs i'm going to cut them down and use that as the steel to hold the the thing on um we'll see how it looks trying to fix our little badges because we're El Cheapos. We don't want to spend 30 bucks on new badges. So Jen's using a 30, bit of- 30, they're like 80. 80, were they 80? That's why. We're just using what we had. So we're using a bit of Gorilla Glue. We're not sure if it's going to work. We're just trying to fill the gaps in so we can then sand it back and paint the things black. wiring the bike back up We've had a few little gremlins stuff that we're sorting out as we go one of them is we couldn't work out why the switch on the throttle side wasn't getting any earth and it's because on the original bars they had the paint ground off the bar so it would earth through the handlebars so what i've done is just run an earth up into the switch um, down and picked up an earth in the loom so that's sorted but we're pretty close the headlights all wired up um, working on the tail lights at the moment. When we flick the switch, we've got some power coming on up there, as you can see, and um, then she cranks. So we're almost there. Let's keep wiring. Maybe I can get lost. wiring is done this loom is all sorted and that's going to be hidden by the tank this wiring at the back here is all done and i've put the braided line over this section as well um, now all that's left is to wire it up to the little lithium battery um, we did all of our testing on the old battery but we're ready to roll Maybe I can get
special thanks to the bro Carl from Aces Garage, the legends at Ella Speed Custom Motorcycles in Brizzy, and my dad for helping us with the wiring gremlins. Catch you on the next one. You.